I will talk about three things in this video. First, how should most Scrum Masters use and interact with Jira? I see many Scrum Masters doing this part wrong. And second, how stakeholders, managers in most companies believe Scrum Masters should interact with Jira. <laughs> I see many anti-patterns, which I will share in this video, and how to fix all these anti-patterns as a Scrum Master. And third, how these same insights are applicable to other tracking tools like Jira. First, let's set the stage. How should a Scrum Master use Jira. The Jira tool or application is not mentioned in the latest version of a Scrum Guide, the Scrum Guide 2020. The Scrum Guide is non-prescriptive. Obviously, it wouldn't include any mention for any tracking tool. So officially, there's no stand in terms of a Scrum framework on how to use Jira. How product owners, developers, and Scrum Masters should be interacting with Jira. But let's try to figure this out together. I knew many Agile coaches, Agile practitioners, even Scrum Masters, I tell you that Scrum Masters have nothing to do with Jira. It should be very far from the Jira application. Again, it's not mentioned in the Scrum Guide. Developers, product owners should be using Jira. The Scrum Master has way more important things to do than using Jira on a daily basis. I, I believe that this answer is too easy. Arguably, it might even be called an immature answer. Most of us work in a corporate environment and we need to play the corporate game. We need to adapt to our corporate work environment. If you look at most Scrum Master job openings, go look at most Scrum Master job openings right now. Jira will be mentioned. There's this expectation that the Scrum Master knows how to use Jira. Obviously, at different levels. Someone who just knows how to use Jira, maybe configure some projects, up to the advanced version of really coding and editing workflows in Jira. Different expectations for the role of a Scrum Master. But my point here, any job application, Jira is mentioned. You can't just say that the Scrum Master is not supposed to be using Jira. We need to adapt to the current work environment. As for the Scrum Guide 2020, the latest version of a Scrum Guide, the Scrum Master is accountable of two things. First, establishing Scrum as defined in the Scrum Guide. And second, ensuring the effectiveness of the team. The way I see it, with these two accountabilities, establishing Scrum as per the Scrum Guide and effectiveness of a team, the Scrum Master should be using all the tools available, including Jira, in order to to do that. Jira is simply a tool, a tool that helps the Scrum Master and the team to meet their accountabilities. Now, even before I share how I believe a Scrum Master should be using Jira, there's something very important that you need to do. You, as a Scrum Master, your work environment, go find out what your colleagues believe about this topic, what your colleagues in your Scrum team believe, the developers, the product owner, believe your interaction with Jira should be. Do a survey. What about stakeholders? What about managers? What about the person that hired you? Your direct supervisor? How do they believe you should be interacting with Jira? I've suggested this same exercise to quite a few Scrum Masters and Agile coaches, and many of them were surprised by the findings. What their colleagues wrote in the survey, it seemed like their colleagues had a different understanding on how the Scrum Master should be using Jira. I kid you not, some people believe that Jira, the sole purpose of the Scrum Master is to be the admin of Jira. That's their main priority. They should be moving tasks, user stories across the Scrum board writing user stories, updating statuses of user stories. That's the role of a Scrum Master. Some people, some Scrum Masters, are currently working in this kind of environment. So if it's you, take the rest of the video where I will share, give my opinion on how a Scrum Master should be using Jira. Go back to your team, go back to your managers, your supervisors, and have an open, honest discussion with them. The core of your role is challenging the status quo. The core of your role continuous improvement for you and to preach that to other team members also. You should be in an environment where you can suggest improvements. That's an improvement if you believe that you're doing something right now that is slowing down the team because it's slowing down the team. <laughs> Having a sole admin, Jira admin, the Scrum Master, that's slowing down the team. If you believe that you're doing that right now, it's slowing down the team, you should be in an environment where you can say that it's slowing down the team and come with a better solution together with the team. For 
me, the whole team should be using Jira, not only the Scrum Master. Now, let's go back to the two accountabilities of a Scrum Master. The first one is ensuring that Scrum is used by the team. The Scrum framework is used by the team as defined in the Scrum guide. There's many accountabilities for developers product owners. And you will see in these accountabilities that Jira might be helpful. Here's an extract from the Scrum Guide 2020 on how a Scrum Master can help support a product owner. So basically, the Scrum Master helping find techniques for effective product goal definition and product backlog management. The Scrum Master should support product owners in doing that. So in a nutshell, does the team have a product backlog? Is the product backlog prioritized, visible, in Jira, are the user stories clear? Are the tasks clear? Are we using the invest model to write user stories? Things that a Scrum Master does by coaching the product. As a Scrum Master, you need to coach the product owner on all these things and ensure that all these things are clearly visible and transparent in Jira because you're using Jira to track your work. That's how you can use Jira to meet this accountability. The second accountability is ensuring the team's effectiveness. You can use Jira to do that. Also, remember, the Scrum Master is not here to tell the team what to do. They are here to suggest things. <laughs> Coach the team, facilitate sessions. Facilitation simply means making things easy. You're making it easy to find a solution, to help them find a solution. That's what you do workshops, brainstorming sessions, one-to-one -one coaching. You can suggest things, you can give options, but you shouldn't be telling the team what to do. Remember your ultimate goal, your ultimate goal as a Scrum Master. Obviously, there's these two accountabilities, but the way I see it, the ultimate goal of a Scrum Master is ensuring that the team can meet these two accountabilities without you. The team can be super effective without you. The team can learn how to improve their effectiveness without you. The team can use the Scrum framework as defined in the Scrum guide without you. And in order to do that, you need to create an environment where they can think for themselves. But you're not the only one thinking. That's why you need coaching, mentoring, teaching, facilitation of sessions. Instead of telling them what to do, help them find their own solutions, something that works for them. And you can use Jira to do that. There's a lot of tools. I would start with the reporting, the velocity report, burn up, burn down charts, lead time, cycle time. So many reports, so many data, statistics that you can use as a Scrum Master to help the team make better predictions, take better decisions. Obviously, if you are a Scrum Master that knows Jira, you can build these reports for your team. But at some point, you need to teach them how to do that, how to use these reports. Again, that's not an excuse to not do anything as a Scrum Master. <laughs> you have a mindset, I'm not want, I won't be doing anything, it's the team role. No, no, that's not an excuse. The team has to fulfill a goal and all the team members need to chip in. If as a Scrum Master, you have skills, something maybe, an expertise in Jira that other team members don't have, why not do it? But also at the same time, coach the team on how to do that themselves because you need to create an environment where you are replaceable. The key here is to focus on the why. Why use Jira? What's in it for them? How can Jira help them through reports? dashboards, setting work in progress limits on the Scrum board, how all these things can help them meet their sprint goal, their product goal, their accountabilities. That's what you're trying to preach. That's what you're trying to teach them. That's your number one priority. Because once they understand what's in it for them, once they understand the why, they will keep on doing that. You're here, you're not here, you're on vacation. You already left the team. You, they will keep doing that because they understand why Jira is beneficial for them. That's your goal, but still it's a journey towards this goal. You can do, still do these things in the beginning. Go through the burn down chart every single day with a team, but at some point you need to teach them why they should be using the burn down chart and how to extract this data themselves. Now, I understand that some of us might be working in an environment where some people, maybe supervisors, managers, stakeholders, the person who hired you, believe that we as a Scrum Master should be handling all the Jira part moving tasks across the board, <laughs> micromanaging people, assigning tasks, assigning user stories, assigning work to developers. Yeah, some Scrum Masters do that. If that's you, you are in this kind of environment, I believe that your number one priority should be to fix that. It's an impediment. It's slowing down the team. You being the sole owner of Jira 
is slowing down the team. And something that is slowing down the team is an impediment. And you as a Scrum Master should help resolve this impediment. Treat it like any other impediment. Your focus should be resolving that. Going to talk with a person, the person that is telling you to do all these things and negotiating with a person. Enlighten the person, this person, on how Jira should be used. How the use and interaction of Jira should be a shared accountability. What's in it for the team? What's in it for the product? And what's in it for this supervisor or this person? Always think about what's in it for them. They won't listen to you if you're just telling them, I won't be, I will stop using Jira. I'm no longer the admin, I'll stop doing that. No, tell them that the team will perform better, that the team will be more effective if you stop doing that. And because the team is more effective, they will get bonuses because we're all managing the team. That's how you convince people. That's how you persuade people. What's in it for them? If you want more tips, insights on Agile, Scrum, Personal, Croft, click on the video that stands out the most on the screen right now, and I'll see you in a few seconds.